Alright, so we almost there for the day, so let's get going. So this time I'm going to re uh, react to Could You Beat Five Simones in the Street Fights? And it's by Sansel Adonis, along with, um, he, um, he actually, um, making a new podcast right now, of course. In case, <coughs> sorry. In case y'all want to subscribe, go right ahead. I'll probably put on the tag along with it, of course. So, letting, letting them know that, um, that I sent it to you, of course. So, yeah. But, um, I mean, don't just comment. Just, just subscribe. Just, just subscribe. Because, um, I don't want, I don't want, like, him getting my suspicions and stuff. Like, he's like, who, like, who the hell, who the hell is silent? But, you know. But yeah, man, like, just, um, just go ahead and subscribe to him for us, so, yeah, but, um, but, um, actually, would I, would I fight one of the Simones? Unless, uh, unless I could do it on, a um, street beef, or an MMA, or some, because there's no way you can, you can fight someone in the street fight, could that, that shit is impossible to do so. I mean, the Simones are one tough SOB. I'm not gonna lie, cause like they're like a warrior, like definitely a warrior. Like when something like that ever happens, like these damn Simones, man, you in for a world of hurt, like. Like, you cannot fight Samoans in the street fight, because that would be totally impossible to do so, because, like, like, these, those Samoans that, that surpass of each of different ways, <laughs> just like, <clears throat> The Rock, of course, um, Haku, yeah, I think Haku, um, one of the SWAT Simones, I believe. Well, actually, Jacob Fatu. Yeah, Fatu, yeah. I think that's correct. Jacob Fatu. The Usos, of course. And probably one more range because it's impossible to do that and, you know, just try to, like, like fight on the Simones, you know, throughout in a pro wrestling. Community. So, I mean, it's okay if you want to win that way. <coughs> the only thing is, you just have to, like, keep on training and training and stuff like that until you go stronger and faster and tougher. All that just to fight the Simones. Because I know for a fact, because it's only happened for a year. Maybe, maybe not. I, I guess. But let's see what they're talking about, man. So, um, here we go in 5, 4, 3, 2, one time there was a big group of Samoan guys. Oh, big. it's already over. Yeah, Come and I look on. at them I'm like, oh, yeah. I'm like, bunch yeah. of the rock. I'm clones. like, I'm like this. I'm like, yeah. oh yeah, you need me to get out of the way. Okay. <laughs> yeah, those Samoa. But I don't know what goes in the yeah, Isle of Samoa. I don't know what they got in the food over there. I've never seen a small Samoan. Yeah. I have never seen a small Samoan. That's the thing too. I, oh, yeah. I feel like I take. Listen, you you need at least four of your homies if you're gonna beat me up. I whoop. If there's three of you, like, I whoop you. But. These Samoan guys, man, I don't know. It's Dude, like, half a Samoan. Might, a Samoan child might just get me, bro. I was thinking about it. I was like, even if I had a gun, like, how many bullets Dude. would I have to... That sounds real violent, but, like, Dude. how many times would I have to shoot one of these Samoan... You know, okay, it's like... You have to reload. Yeah. You're just looking at you. have to <laughs> reload. you're a rhino. Like, mm -hmm. like, imagine a rhino is... I thought about that, too. Imagine a rhino is charging you, and you got a gun. What is your gun going to do against this rhino? You're not going to stop it just by shooting it. Like, it's going to uh -huh. keep charging you. So I feel like it's the same with a Samoan, like, unless you hit him in the head. <laughs> yeah, like, it, it, it's legitimate. It's, like, it, it's so legit. Unless you hit him in the head, which is hard. Like, I don't know if you ever shot a gun before, but, like, a head is a small target to be oh, yeah. shooting. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Especially if they're running at you, like, charging, mm -hmm. like, like, a rhino. Dude, get like, off like, shit. You would have to get oh, oh, into them before they even went down. And even then, like, if they got to you and just, like, tackled you, that's concussion. Because that's the thing with these damn Samoans, man. They, they're so they're, they're incredibly large, right? Because I remember when I watched um, what was the movie? It was Fast and Furious, but it was the um, Hobbs and Shaw, right? Now, oh yeah, yeah, he's right, right. Half Samoan, right? He's so he's like Samoan, he's half, half of Samoan, but he got to where he's at, right? So imagine a full Samoan, right? The Samoans are crazy. 
But there was a scene in the movie where he was holding the chain connected to a helicopter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then I think car. I found you know, that. It's, it's so outrageous and not humanly possible. But <laughs> you were like, is he doing that? He's half Samoan. <laughs> so a piece of me was watching the movie and said, I mean, it reminded me of <laughs> sense. Captain if I seen America. A platoon of Samoans I think that's walking what it is. alongside the aisle. If World War Three were to break out and the Samoans and Tongans who are on the front, it's oh, over. Oh, Tongan too. I forgot. You could no. bring, you could bring ships, warships, all kinds of nuclear bombs. I, I, we will survive behind the Samoans. I don't care what nobody. If you have Samoans and Tongans on the front line, you're good. I was sitting there and legit. Really? I'm like, this is outrageous, but it's the Rock. But yeah, the, Big and dude. big Samoan, because my method, every, and I, oh, I, I yeah, do the same right, thing. Right. I'll be walking and I'll see a group of people I'm like, dude, man, shit, can I, can I beat them all up? Can I take Because I think every dude to a certain degree thinks like, man, if it was a, you know, I, I, I got to save the universe. Yeah. It's me, I'm walking, I'm with my family. Somebody tries to attack us. How would I take everybody out, right? You start thinking of all these different sort of movements no, that you'd I, have to go so out there I and think, do. So I, I was like, I was fighting for a long time. I still, like, I was at the boxing gym the other day. I think like exactly how I'm gonna move. I'm like, okay, he's gonna throw a punch. I'm gonna split the punch. I'm gonna throw an uppercut. I'm right. Gonna, I'm gonna jump back. I'm gonna hit him. Like I think exact details. I'm like, okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm ready for it. Mm -hmm. So you think exactly what you're Same gonna do? Same thing. I think yeah. exactly what it is that I'm gonna do. But I, I rather than because everybody thinks I'm gonna get the knockout. I don't go that route. <laughs> what I do is because I know if you have to get the knockout, then you're in a situation where if you don't get the knockout, it's over. Yeah. So first thing I do is mm -hmm. I'm gonna attack your lower extremities because I'm gonna make it seem as if I'm gonna go and swing up top, but I'm immediately going for your knee. If I neutralize your knee, it's over. You're on one leg. Mm -hmm. Unless you're like, you walk up and you had a prosthetic that I thought was real, it's over at that point. Yeah. Like I yeah, kick sure. off your leg and you start hopping because you're accustomed to this, I'm, I'm going to the upper room, it's over, right? <laughs> but if I'm in a situation where I make it seem as if I'm gonna swing on the first one, of course, you gotta go for the biggest guy first, right? Yeah. So you gotta go for the biggest guy first. You find that for, I kick you straight in your kneecap, T your ACL, you're on the ground, you're done. Because that pain right there, you're not gonna get out of that. So then people are gonna start worrying, oh, my knees, right? <laughs> Unless I'm battling against like Megan Thee Stallion, no. <laughs> there's no way, there's no way. And she's already got iron feet after getting shot. So whatever the case is, <laughs> she's in a position where I can't, like if there was 16 Megan Thee Stallions, it's over for me, yeah. right? But if you have all of these different people who's approaching, you're like, man, how would I take this person out? I immediately go for the knee. Yeah. I'm gonna attack the knee, I'm gonna kick the knee in as much as I can, and people will be in a situation, because really think about it, unless you're fighting against people who really, you know, they fight, this is what they do, they train in fighting. Mm -hmm. Most people know how to protect their upper body. Who, how do you protect your knee? Like, are you gonna be holding your lower leg? Yeah, you you know how to check a kick, it's over. It's At over. that point, if I'm just a dude who's literally, <laughs> like I look like a Jamaican on the dance floor. <laughs> really people. At that point, I'm gonna work, and you're gonna be like, this guy's a psycho. He keeps yeah. attacking, <laughs> you know, the knee. Like even in South Park when Butters, he, I think he kept shooting people in the dick or something like that. Right? <laughs> that's crazy, keeps man. attacking you in your private part, you're not gonna like, wanna fight uh, me no yeah, more. That's, the knee, that's like, a knee kicking guy. Exactly. It's like, you know, that's Knee kicking, yo, we can't. Let's get out of here, man. I think that's the only way I'd be able to take on Samoans and you Targets. Know, you know, it's, yeah, Samoans and Targets. I think my best defense, was, like when I see them, like okay, I can 100% run faster than these guys. Right. That is my plan. That's my plan. But can you run longer than them? <laughs> that's a the endurance. Point. I mean, I think I would just yell and just like. So here's the thing. There's nothing wrong with running. For, people would be like, no, nah, I, I would be honorable. I'll sit there and die on my shield. I'm like, bro, that's stupid. You're like. The chance of you, because I think about this, I see these guys that got thick necks. I'm like, even because I've knocked people out before, it's very satisfying. But I'm thinking, even if I get a direct hit, right? Yeah. Slip, yeah. slip, open shot, boom, fully loaded punch. They're not going to sleep. They're going to eat that. It's going to be like, yeah. you know when a baby hits you? Yep. Or has Bula when he hits people? It'll be mm -hmm. like that. It'll be like, what? They would look at me and they, they, would, they yeah. would, and it would make them angrier. Mm -hmm. So for me to sit there and like get jumped by five dudes there's nothing honorable about that. that's stupid i would just die right right, right. Mm. and oh, <laughs> this just popped in my mind this is how you know i'm a lunatic what if you fought against five masochistic samoans oh so like you it. hit the and they like it oh, like oh. you hit them and there's like a satisfactory moan like you ever ate a good steak I just think them all the time. Like, mm. <laughs> oh. well at that point now but but then now you're surrounded by samoan demons <laughs> <laughs> oh, and they, they're getting more turned on in the battle. Like this, this, this has since descended into something. But you, you got to consider, like you're fighting against these masochistic Samoans, thick necks, you're not going to have a good time. If you like that clip of hypothetically battling a platoon of Samoans, you'll enjoy the entire podcast over at the brand new official Assiduous Podcast YouTube channel. Click the link in my description or the top pinned comment. And I'm doing a very special $500 cash giveaway to one lucky subscriber when we get to 15 
1,500 subscribers on the YouTube channel. So don't meet me there. Beat me there. Click the link in the description or the top pinned comment so you can win yourself some money or else I'm going to send five Tongans and Samoans to your front door. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> of course, man. <laughs> Eat like an Omega. Oh, I forgot to put the Omega as well, so yeah. Oh, and Solo as well. I forgot to, man. God damn. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that, that was complete insane. Because not only that you were to try your best to knock out one of the Samoans, there's no weakness. There is no weakness between Samoans. Because even though you try your best to knock your opponent out with that, because you just can't. Cause I know Samoan, like, you know, like what he, what he said, he'll eat it. He'll eat the every punch they have from, you know, from the Samoans. Because it always... It's always very impossible to like, what should I do? Like, should I keep, should I keep on punching them? I'm like, you know what? I was gonna, I was gonna knock myself out, cause I, I can't, <laughs> I can't do it, man. Cause that, that's impossible. That's actually impossible for me to like knock him out, out cold. Cause there's no freaking way that you can actually try your best to um, to knock. To knock him out on purpose, man. Cause there's no way. There's no freaking way for me to knock a Samoans out. Like the Samoan is actually a toughest I the toughest SOB I ever know, cause like if they if they learn it from that from the rock or Roman Reigns. Or anyone else, man. Like, oh my god. Like, imagine, imagine if the one of the Samoans did volunteer from MMA. I like, bro. I'm done, man. I'm, I'll quit. <laughs> I, I, I really quit, man. Cause there's no way you can knock a Samoans out with one, one blow. Like. I mean, there's other way you could do that. Like, just do like a submission hose. That's the only way you could do it. Would that work? Probably not, because they probably know that they're never going to sleep at all. They don't. They they won't unless that actually did happen. I I I guess so, but. But yeah, man, that's that's some insane ones because in case you don't know, don't mess with these Samoans or tongue or the tongue or the tongue guns, cause um, it's I I'm telling you, man, that 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 would be that would be messed up if that ever happens, man. In case in case you understand, man. In case you under. Stand. So, um, yeah, but y'all better be careful out there, cause um, it's it's a lot of things that um, that you would try to find somebody to fight somebody, cause if you want to fight, do that on the street beef, or the or the other MMAs that y'all can try especially when it comes for Samoans don't fight them cuz you don't know what's gonna happen to you bro I'm telling you man please don't fight them if they have one of the Samoans you're done just throw in the towels and just quit while you can cuz it's 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 impossible to knock. It's impossible to fight the Samoans or to or total games, cause um. It's a tuna or tuna again, yeah, tuna games from like that. Yeah, 
just don't fight against them, man. But yeah, so let me know, comment down below if this ever happens to you when you are trying to fight with Simone's. Um, comment down below, man. I also link some Rizzo video down below in case you want to go go check it out, and I will see y'all in the next rest video. Woo, that's that's officially.